creamy carbonara, all gooey and cheesy, and with one little secret Asian ingredient that really ups the stakes here. This is my miso carbonara. One of the things I love about a good carbonara is that it's mainly sort of pantry ingredients and a bit of pork. So good. I'm adding a little bit of miso to mine though because I can. <laughs> and the miso actually enhances the umami and cheesiness of the whole thing. I love it. Um, anyway, let's do that miso egg part of the dish first. So I wanna do some eggs into a bowl and I want a mixture of whole eggs and egg yolks because those extra yolks are gonna make things extra creamy. And now that non-Italian ingredient, miso paste. And then cheese, lots of cheese. I'm using Parmigiano Reggiano, but you could use Pecorino or Grana Padano as well. Now you wanna mix all of that together. I find a bit of a mashing action to start to break up that miso is good. And then whisk it all together. Now you want a really good dash of freshly ground black pepper here. And that's it for the sauce guys, no cream. We're gonna stick with the Italians on this one. And actually you can watch my friend Sylvia make the most amazing traditional carbonara uh, in one of my collab videos on YouTube. So head there if you wanna check it out. Now the other element of carbonara, which is a non-negotiable for me, is the cured pork part. So I have a really heavy double smoked bacon here and I've cut it into really thick chunks. I like my bacon chunky in this one. Obviously you could use pancetta, guanciale, probably a bit more traditional than this one. Now I don't start off with any oil, I just put the bacon into a hot pan because depending on how much fat's in the bacon, I'll just watch for how much renders out first before I add any oil. Now I can see that this bacon is quite lean, so I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil here. I wanna see a sort of thin film of oil in the bottom of the pan once this bacon's finished cooking. Okay, so bacon's looking good and smelling good. Bacon and anything, amazing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take that off the heat. Now I've had some water on the boil here. And to that, I'm gonna add two really big handfuls of salt here. Beautifully seasoned pasta is one of the little secrets to making really joyful pasta dishes at home. And in goes the spaghetti. So I like to do 100 grams per person, it tends to get me through. All right, so I'm gonna test if this pasta is cooked. Best way is to taste it. Mm. For me, that's just perfect. I like it just slightly past al dente, not too firm. So, but you can cook it to your liking. Still has a chewy texture, which is good. Now, I just wanna grab some pasta water here. I'm not sure if I'll need it, but it's always good to keep this on hand in case you need to loosen things up a bit later. Okay, now the pasta goes straight from the pot into my pan. A little bit of that pasta water in there as well is okay. And while that pasta's still hot, I wanna get our egg cheese miso mixture on there straight away. And now it's all about the mixing and all about being very patient. I've just got this on the warm stove top. The stove top's not on, it's still warm from when we cooked the bacon. And I wanna mix and mix until that liquid sauce turns into really thick, glossy, cheesy goodness. Now I can see there's actually quite a lot of liquid here, so I'm not gonna add any of that pasta water, but if you find yours is really thick, then add in some of that water. Now when that sauce is beautifully thick and creamy, now we're ready to go. Now this needs to be served straight away. Now some final little bits and pieces. I've got some Japanese furikake here and that is like a rice seasoning and you can get loads of different versions at your Asian grocery store. This one has dried egg and seaweed and bonito flakes. It's a fun little sprinkle to put on there. First I want some cheese though. And then my Japanese sprinkles. Oh, and look at that. So excited. Perfectly creamy, cheesy. Mmm, smells amazing. Just that little hint of miso adds a real kick of flavor there without overpowering. It just enhances everything, makes everything cheesier, baconier. 
Baconier. Is that even a word? I don't even know. Should be a word. This is just the most exciting thing ever. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys. Thank you.